Hi everybody and welcome to another episode with the Anxious Resistance. Today I'm talking about something that's unique and up and coming in the mental health realm and it's hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Some of you may have heard of this before but maybe not. Let me explain to you a little bit about how it works. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is where you go and you get in like a little pod sort of thing. Sometimes they look a little different. Sometimes they're big. Sometimes they're small. Sometimes you sit in them. Sometimes you lay down in them. But what this pod does, it increases the air pressure inside and it also increases the level of oxygen inside. And scientists have been finding that for years this helps with healing. You may have heard somebody who has diabetes or somebody who has trouble with wound healing. They go to clinics. They go to hyperbaric oxygen therapy clinics. This promotes healing for them. So this allows the tissues to take up that oxygen and use it and it stimulates healing and growth of the new cells. So what they're finding is that this also helps with mental health. One of the prevailing theories right now is that mental health is worse in states that are at high elevation. So we're talking about Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, the Mountain West states in the United States. And this is probably true of other places in the world. But that higher elevation is correlated to a decrease in mental health and an increase in depression and an increase in suicides. So the theory is that having the lower oxygen at the higher elevation and also having that lower air pressure at the higher elevation affects brain function. And so what the hyperbaric oxygen therapy does is it allows you to have kind of a, an extraordinarily rich healing environment. So you can have that extra oxygen you can have that pressure that you don't get at higher elevations, you can have that in a clinical setting. So there are some places that offer this as a treatment. I worked at a facility in my state of Utah where they offered it as a treatment and it's something that's kind of up and coming. So there's not a ton of research out about it yet. I will post what research I have found in the description and you can also find more by looking at the article on our website about this. But it is promising and this is is something that people can do for themselves. So I know where I live in Utah, you can find clinics all over the place that offer hyperbaric oxygen therapy. And these aren't like places that you have to have insurance. It's usually like a spa or something like that. And you can pay 50 bucks to go sit in a hyperbaric oxygen chamber for an hour or so. So this is something that if you think that maybe this will benefit you, if you live in one of those higher elevation states like I do, it might be something that's worth a try. So what you can do is go to those clinics and try it out for yourself. Find out if it, you feel better after. Sometimes it may take a few sessions before you really feel better, but it also has other health benefits. So not just your mental health, but it does help things like wound healing and it helps you have kind of a clearer mind. You know, rich, wealthy people have been doing this for a long time and a lot of them actually own their own hyperbaric oxygen therapy chamber, you know, where they can go do this and get the health benefits for themselves. So totally something worth checking into, trying out, especially if other things are not working for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this content, like the video, subscribe to our channel if you want to hear more, and thank you so much for watching this video.